As always, that's exactly what happened and it truly was that over by Boomerang and then followed by Arshdeep that really kind of sealed the fate of South Africa because before that point, they were 20 of 20, they were going to cruise it in. Well, first of all, we'd like to congratulate India, uh, you know, the mindset behind, the vision behind and they, they did it for, for all the fans, all the, all the fans of, the, of this beautiful game of cricket. Obviously, as a fan of cricket, we are also feel very happy for them because they they done it for the for the right reason and i think i'm i'm really happy to see them lifting the trophy and you know having said that i think uh, shweb also mentioned the same thing regarding that reverse swing and that was the case obviously if, if bumrah is around you can expect anything happen from him because as said as rohit also mentioned in his post match uh, interview he said yes he brings the, something on a table very very specially yeah. but how he made it he has no idea so no this idea. guy really is a master class of a of a bowler to me who brings everything for, for the team and really happy for them too. Right. So, if your reactions on the match, you predicted India would lift the trophy. They have done that. But were you at all surprised by how the match went down in terms of the players and how easily South Africa could have walked away with the trophy? No, 100%. They actually uh, done an amazing job by reaching the final, first of all. I think uh, a very proud moment for South African cricket and at the same time, I think, uh, the guys, all of them, those African guys, I think they've done a wonderful job. I mean, like, they have given a run uh, for the money. Literally, Indian was just panicking when the Klaassen was out there. Yeah. And, and they literally won the game, and then it took the game away from them. And uh, had Klaassen stayed there for another two overs, mm. the game would have been over. But Indians were panicking, for sure. And I thought at times that, you know, I hope there is no bad luck happens to South Africa. And I was kept on saying to my manager, I said, listen, all we need is a, just a bit of bad luck for South Africa. Otherwise, they're just running away with the game now. So what else could have stopped them right now, right here? What else could have stopped them? There comes Hadik Pandya with the slower one. Class is gone. Mm -hmm. So India, as he, Rohit Sharma mentioned, that you know, it's the process that he talks about. He is that the that lot of thinking that he's went in, into the, uh, to, to the process that he had for the last three, four years has been very painful. His whole beard turned black to white in that through process. And I think it's just not only this World Cup alone. It is the World Cup that they lost mm. last year that has taken a toll out of them. And the one before, that the, you know, they've been in the finals, they've been in the same final, they were down and about, they're investing tons of money. Literally, $1.5 billion went in from Indians into that tournament and playing on top of that such a great cricket and by not winning it at the same time. That is, becomes a very, very embarrassing as Indians. But I think it's well-deserved win for Rohit Sharma. I'll be honest with you. If anybody deserves this trophy, I think it was only Rohit Sharma. And God has honoured him with a such moment. I mean, a massive win. And I think the biggest...